Today, I'm going to show you how to create a Google site. If you open up a new Google search page or if you open up your email, you will notice in the upper right hand corner an apps launcher. It looks like a waffle. And if you click on this apps launcher, you will see Sites, the Google Sites app. Select Sites. And if you have ever created any other web pages using the old classic sites, they will be stored here. That's how you access them. However, we do not want to use that. We want to use the new Google Sites. And new Google Sites is what's on the Google exam. So you do not want to use the old one. You want to use the new one. And you will need to click new Google Sites. So select or click new Google Sites. And when you do, you'll notice in the right hand corner a little plus sign, and that's how you create a new site. So click the plus sign, and a new website is automatic create, automatically created. Now, up here, this is going to be your site, and you're going to put in your title for your site. In this case, I'm going to say 21st Century. tools and when you press enter it will automatically type that right here and this is your title page so you do not have to have this is the same so right here I'm gonna say classroom resources this is an ugly header so I'm gonna change my header first let me tell you something over here under themes it will give you different layouts for this if you pick the diplomat background it may change your header so that if you select or create a really vibrant header it may mute it there's some kind of um, layer over it that will um, it's a readability issue so I would suggest staying with any other Theme. So I'm going to choose the simple theme. I'm going to go over here and click my image. I'm going to select an image. I'm going to go down and choose this one right here. Select. Now see how it says it's adjusting for readability? If you don't like this um, muted page, all you have to do is click that. And it goes back to being a the one that you really selected. It looks like the one you selected. Okay, so next I want to add some text. So I'm going to click over here on my menu. I'm going to click insert and then you'll notice there's you can insert a text box. You can insert images. You may insert YouTube videos which is in the embed or you can select from your Google Drive and select spreadsheets documents, Google Drawings, anything you want, you can pull them in and use them on your uh, web page. So in this case I need a text box. So I'm going to select text box and you'll notice it automatically creates a text box for me. Also right here I can have normal text, I can have title, heading, subheading, or small text. I'm going to go with a title and I'm going to say Classroom Tools for 21st Century Learners. Next, I want to insert an image. So I'm going to go right over here to my menu and I must click Images and I must select an image and I want to go to my search feature and I want to find classroom and press enter and I'm going to go down and that's the one I want right there now, I don't want my picture down here below this so I'm going to go back up and I'm going to select the text box and you'll notice that I've got some handles here 
So I'm going to just drag this in. And then I'm going to take my picture and just drag it up. And it automatically resizes. Then if I wanted to take this and drag it out just a teeny bit, I could. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put another text box underneath this. And I'm going to say, Tools for Classrooms. But I don't want that in normal text. I want that as a heading. And then I can put pictures or text underneath that. Okay. But right now, I think I want to go ahead and add my second page. Because my page over here is Pages. And I can just click the little plus sign. And I can call this VR Glasses. And click Done. Now I have a second page. I can go right back over here to my first page. I can go down here and I can say VR Glasses. And I can change that to size. And below that, I can say Google Maps. Type that and change that to subheading. Okay. Now, when I get ready to um, work on this, I can do it individually. I can create it individually. Or I can actually click up here on the little um, gray person-looking icon. And I can share it with... Um, invite people and share it with people to work on it with me. So you just type their name right in there and there's the edit and click send and you can have collaborative um, web pages also. When you get ready to publish it, you click publish, you give it a name. Now if you will notice right here I'm going to highlight this. Your Google site has a very long URL because it's sites.google.com, curryk12.nc, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the end part is the name of the page also. So you do not have to call this 21st Century Tools. You could name this your name. You could name it something else. You do, it does not have to be what's up there on the site. You can name it anything you want. And then you click Publish. I'm not going to publish this one. And that is pretty much the way you create a web page.